My name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short. And in today's video, we are. <laughs> oh! Think that's a beer? No, it's America. United States of America. Which is also have beards, but no, this is just black rifle. Um, we're gonna be doing plastic surgery, plastic surgery, plastic surgery and lotion by Bill Burr. A links for the original creator will not be down below, but uh, the re-uploader will be. I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Mm. Why did I drink it like that? I scared the heck out of myself. <laughs> no, this is only my second one of the day. Don't judge me. Mm. I gotta admit, the only thing that freaks me out about Los Angeles is, uh, is all the plastic surgery. I don't get it. Why do people get plastic surgery? You uh, know? Why can't you just admit it's over? <laughs> you know, you had your time. Stop trying to look fuckable in your 50s. <laughs> it's weird. With their faces yanked back, looking all shiny, right? <laughs> Not to mention they haven't even figured it out. You know, why would you get a facelift? Can't you look at other facelifts and realize they haven't worked all the bugs out yet? <laughs> facts, facts. That's what you want to look like? Like you just lost a fight three days ago? Be a hero. Let somebody else go in there. Take the fucking beach. You, you lay back. Wait it out. I believe, I, look, I don't shame anybody Whatever you want to get done to your face, boo-boo, that's on you, okay? But the only thing I have a problem with is, like, the aftermath of the surgery. Because, like, I'm going to be honest and serious. Every time you see somebody get plastic surgery and they come out of the recovery room, it looked like Chris Brown and Ike Turner was in there, and they just beat the heck up out of their face. And then the doctor's like, wow. That looks great. And you're like, no, it do Where? Was clearly lying. They're just lying to people. I oh, know, it looks great. It looks great. Put a little ice on it. We'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, take it easy. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is <laughs> We followed every step. Did we miss something? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, here's your keys. Here's your mm -hmm. keys. There you go. There you go. Almost didn't recognize you. You look so young. All right, take it easy. She gone? All right, she's gone. All right, shred everything. Shred it. <laughs> No, you're nuts. You wait it out. Let them figure it out. Then you fucking go in. Don't be a goddamn hero. Mm -hmm. You know? Look at hair plugs. Hair plugs don't look half bad now. Mm. Saw this guy the other night on TV. He's like, oh, God, I wish I did this 10 years ago. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years ago, when they were stapling ant legs to the top of people's heads. <laughs> Remember that? Your eyes would water looking at their hairline. Like, is that... Is that sewn in? I see pine tar. What the? They used to put you in like a headlock. Hold still. He's like a nail gun. Hold still. Guys would tap out after a row and a half. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. You wish you got hair plugs 10 years ago. Do you wish you got polio 60 years ago? What the fuck? What else is on your wish list, sir? I don't think I've no, ever seen anybody with, with hair plugs. I don't think so. Okay. I understand liposuction. They screw that up. You can put on a shirt, right? There's no shirt for your face. <laughs> Who do they think they're fooling? But they're stupid, you know? <laughs> and then you lie to yourself. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna, just gonna, just gonna have this done. No, you're not. You're not. What are you, you're just gonna wax the fender on your car. Then that's it. And the rest of it looks all shitty. Well, maybe I'll just do the hood. And maybe I'll do the back. That's how it happens. Then you look like one of those real housewives. Like, Face all twisted up. <laughs> fucking idiots. Anyway, look, they are they're idiots. Bruh, those real housewives scare me, dog. Like, like, I don't, I don't watch, I don't watch the Real Housewives, um, because I think it's. Oh, sorry, my mic just wanted to hit my boob. Put my head between your boobs. I don't want, I don't watch the Real Housewives because I think it's stupid. Um, like, like, in the last time I checked, like, I thought they only had, like, like, two Real Housewives show, 
um, I knew they had Atlanta, and I knew that they had New Jersey, and now they got like eight Real House. They have like eight, nine, ten Real Housewives shows and everything else, and I'm just like, what are they? they no, I think they have like twelve. That we have as many Real Housewives shows as as the WNBA. Okay, that's basically it, right? So I always wanted to know, like, like right when I was flipping through the channels and everything else, getting to you know, because who watches TV besides we watch the game? But like you, you, I, you be flipping through those channels and you stop on. I think I stopped on Bravo. I believe is that what? Yeah, Bravo. And then like I saw one of those girls, and I'm gonna be honest and serious. I don't know what happened to her face. Like it's so yanked back. It literally looks like you know if you had like one of those like little uh, chip clips. It looks like she has a chip clip in the back of her head, and if you just knock her head. The chip clip will fall, and then, and then she will go into being a Georgia Bulldog. That's how tight her face looked. And I'm like, why would you do this to yourself? Like, I like the, I like the dogs too. You know, go dogs. You know, Georgia team. I'm Georgia. You know, Georgian in the house. But like, why would you want them to do all of that? And then if they release it, then you have these jowls and stuff like that. You look like, you look like a deflated chipmunk. Just age gratefully. It just don't look pretty. You look like I'm in my 20s? No, no. you look weird. You look <laughs> fucking weird. You still look like you're in your 50s. I just can't guess what year anymore because I've never seen that year. I've never seen that shiny fucking look. It's almost like you discovered a new age between 52 and 53. <clears throat> yeah. People, there's nothing wrong with being 52 and looking 52. No. All right, you're 52. You didn't get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> what would you rather be, 52 and look 52 or be 52 and look like a 28-year-old lizard? <laughs> All right. That's your options at this point. <laughs> I mean, they're already in Hollywood. Hold up. You know what's really, really like actually uh, embarrassing is that the facelift, that's predominantly a white problem. Yeah. Have you notice that? I've never seen a black person with a facelift ever. Other than like the Jacksons, but they're all out of their minds. Because right? <laughs> their dad made them rehearse all day and sleep in the fireplace. <laughs> I'm jamming all night. Get in there, you bastards! No hugs, no kisses. Mm -hmm. His face permanently twisted up from 50 years of screaming, Sing, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's understandable with them. Hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! Oh my god, I need that as a sound clip. I love it. It's funny. Whitey! <laughs> you know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well... What about lotion? <laughs> what is this lotion you speak of and what is the magic therein? <laughs> Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. If you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, <laughs> but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate, because <laughs> you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. <laughs> All right, you got skin everywhere. Go on, check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. <laughs> That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. Till one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. 
She was like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. <laughs> yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. <laughs> I've never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes <laughs> flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. Couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? Mm -hmm. I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm gonna be okay, take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. See that? That's why you gotta hang out with everybody. Very facts. Yeah. Facts. There's too much information in the world and every group of people misses a little bit. Mm -hmm. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it, you know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. Yeah. You know, they can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Right? <laughs> we miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. Me like, too. Why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Never understood. Never understood. And then before anybody say anything, I do. I, I, this is my lotion. Well, I don't use lotion. I use cream. Can't get crazy. I use cream because it's thicker and everything else. That's why my shoulders. That's why my shoulders shining and everything else. But that is so true. I know. I just put. I just took some lotion out. Just. I just put. Just to put it on my legs, just in case if I'm not looking ashy. Anyway, but I don't understand. I don't understand. It's not even no registering of your guns because I mean, like, like Georgia, you don't like, whatever. What always okay. Let me just say this properly. This is what always trips up rappers, and I never understand it, okay? I never understand it. Why don't you, if you're a rapper, just flow with me here. Why don't you have a registered gun owner in the car with you? Shay, well, that's not going to solve everything. Yes, it will. Have a registered gun owner in the car with you. <laughs> because if for a register for you to have a reg be a registered gun owner, you don't have a felony, so you're not breaking any laws. Because you're you because if you are a felon with a gun, all depends on what state you get stopped in, then you can face federal laws or you can face state laws. Get somebody who has a clean record with a gun license, okay? And have them have the gun. That will solve a lot of problems. I swear to God. Dick. Shay, it's not that easy. Yes, it is. Why, why would you say that? Because all of my friends are registered gun owners. No felonies. I can leave my Glock in her car and, not, and she won't catch a felony. I mean, I don't leave Aurora anywhere, okay? I take her everywhere. She's like my child. But you know what I'm saying? Like, just get some registered gun owners in your life, okay? Is that what it is? <laughs> is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. Yes. If he just had one white friend in his entourage, the dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? <laughs> you out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. <laughs> Dude, how do, you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got an unregistered weapon in the car. Like, we're just going to go driving around with it. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> so see, there you go. All right? You don't need a facelift. Okay?
Lay off the booze, do some cardio, moisturize, you're gonna be fine. Okay, don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack, it's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. They all get a giant oil drum with a shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dunk themselves in it, shake themselves off, and walk out the door absolutely glistening. Glistening. White guys like me are walking. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I just did it in a video too. That's what I hate about it because he's so right. Like, I just find myself putting on lotion because I want my skin to look nice. <laughs> it's, that's basically it. Like, I, I just want my skin to constantly look nice. So you moisturize. And like the more that you moisturize, the more that put it like this, the more that you moisturize, and the more that you take care of your body and everything else, the less the less maintenance you have to do. Otherwise, like that's the like I don't have to wear a lot of makeup because my skin is already good. Like I just I just I just try to do some eyeshadows so I won't look like I didn't try. <laughs> And put something on my lips <laughs> but i mean like i want to you know you want to at least try like so that's why i'm like you need moisturizer you guys you need it i i, I do use cetaphil i'm not sponsored i'm not sponsored by cetaphil or black rifle but i would take those sponsorships in a heartbeat um but cetaphil black rifle coffee there you go that's all you need <laughs> around no hat on hey, let's go sailing <laughs> Passing out face down in the sand. <laughs> so that was Bill Burr. Um, plastic surgery and lotion. Now, 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 let me just say really quickly, let's get this to 300 likes. This is Sparta! <laughs> My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short, and like my grandmother always says, Chevy, bust up a bag, she let me. Then blow the gas, and we at the caddy. She like, you gotta respect me. I look, um, I look amazing. It's true, yes. Hold up, let's try that compliment thing one more time. Huh. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> I look amazing. Yes, you do, my love. Oh, glorious. Perfect. Guess what? Yes. I got America in my fucking hand. I got two. Mm -hmm. I got two Americas. Got two Americas. I busted together like fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin poured in my mouth. Anyway, grow up. All right. One.